Hi, my name's Andy, and this is an overview and unboxing of the Core 64 Interactive Core Memory Kit. This is the final result of the kit, which is Interactive Core Memory. Kit starts by shipping to you in this box. There's a checklist of the components we're going to go through, the major parts of the assemblies. First up, there's an introduction sheet here, which is going to describe where to get inform more information about assembly and support for this, which is at core64.io. The logic board kit is here. There's a checklist for the components that are inside. Same for the LED matrix kit, the core board kit, a kit that is centered on a Teensy 3.2, the stylus kit times two, and a screen protector and light diffuser for the LED array kit here. Now we'll walk through each of these kits and see what's in them. The first kit we'll go through is the logic board kit. It comes with an optional lanyard you can install or not, and that secures up here. A battery pack holder uh, with some double stick tape on the back, and that's designed to go here and get soldered into the board over here four AAA batteries, uh, an add-on accessory port connector that can be installed here or on the top of the um, core board, and then two rows of female headers here. These get cut down and put into these uh, holes here. There will be a bunch of this left over, but you need two pieces to get all 20 positions on each side out of a 40-pin connector when you cut it in the middle. Next up is the LED matrix kit. This is composed of a circuit board and a row of headers. These headers you'll cut apart and install two pins in each of the four corners like so. The next part of the kit is a stylus times two. These you will carefully snap apart, very carefully I might add. And then there's a pair of magnets here that will be inserted into this little pocket. And then these two pieces will slide together uh, at a 90 degree angle or orientation. And then you'll solder all these points along here to capture the magnets inside this stylus. This is the Teensy 3.2 kit. This is a pre-programmed Teensy 3.2 included a USB cable. This is the card that comes with these teensies and it also points out on the back side where you need to cut a very small trace before this is installed in the Core 64 kit. There's also a note on here referring to that uh, cut that needs to be done and the instructions have more detail about that as well. There's a uh, 2 by 7 male header uh, row here that's going to go on the bottom and then this, is, these, um, this row of male headers is going to get cut and filled in. And then these sockets are designed to accept the Teensy on the logic board. And these will all be cut and put into position. Alignment is pretty important on all this stuff, so this is an area where you're going to want to take care to, to um, keep things aligned and squared up. There's also a link in the instructions for this component here which is just a 3D printed part and this is a, an alignment fixture that allows you to get all these sockets cut to the right size dropped in here and once they're all set inside there this will line up onto the logic board and help ensure that all of those sockets stay in position while you go ahead and uh, solder everything up. Here's the core board part of the kit this is the core board with surface mount components already installed on the back. This is a bag of 70 cores. This is the wire to weave the cores into the board. And then there's a header row here that will be cut and that will fill in uh, the pins on this left and right side so that this can be installed onto the logic board. There are also four little plastic press rivets here and those are designed to hold the screen protector uh, in the corners here on this board. The last part of this kit is the screen protector and LED diffuser. 
These are two pieces of transparency material. One piece can be used to make two screen protectors, and this other piece can be used to make an insulator for the back side of the logic board if you'd like that. This is the diffuser grid. It's just a 3D printed piece of plastic with holes in it, and it sets down over the LEDs, and you take what's left of the envelope here, or just a white sheet of paper, and uh, adhere it to the back side of this, and it makes a nice diffuser. And finally, of course, there's a Core64.io sticker. Once everything comes together, this is what the final kit will look like. The magnetic stylus can be used to affect the core memory, which in this case is being used right now to scroll the text through it. So wherever the magnet is affecting things, that carries through in the scrolling. There's a flux detector mode, which shows where the magnet is affecting a particular core. And the next mode is a drawing mode. And you can draw whatever you want here. That completes the demo walkthrough of the Core64 Interactive Core Memory Project. Thanks for watching.